Hello everybody, what's going on? Vic Showman here. So, I hope all of you guys are enjoying Shadowkeep as much as I have been. I've absolutely been having a blast. And just to start off the video, I would just like to say I love so many of the changes that they brought to Shadowkeep. With getting rid of the leveling system and putting in like the season pass, I don't know how many people are happy with the season pass, but I personally love it. And here's my reasoning why. So I'll try to get through this quick so we can get to the video, but um, it's because, um, you know how a lot of times once you reach level 50 or whatever the max level is, you don't really feel a motivation to actually get XP, to actually do the bounties. And like, let's say you could be light level 980, and you could only be like tier or rank like 40 in the season pass. So you still have like the whole half of the season pass to do. And I think that that's so cool that like even if you completed all the end game stuff or if you're, you know, all, max light level, you still have more activities to do and you still feel a motivation to, um, to do those bounties and to get XP. So I would just like to start off the video by saying thank you Bungie, like kudos for putting them in there. I think that's a super cool idea and it gives something for the, uh, the free players to do. So. Thank you, Bungie. So anyway, now back to the video. Hope you guys are all enjoying Shadowkeep. So, as you guys already know, this video is going to be on the Ariana's Vow. So as of right now, I'm like an 893. Grind's going pretty well. So, one sec. Sorry, the mic is in front of my screen here. I'm just gonna like shift that. <laughs> okay, so the Ariana's Vow. Um, that is not the Ariana's Vow. This is the Ariana's Vow right here all right it'll be the last light they ever see ariana 3 don't know who that is but all you lore people out there please let me know in the comments below i would love to know so we got looks can kill this weapon fires special shield piercing ammunition it comes with a scope extended barrel Akra's rounds increase range of death at first glance. Bonus damage when aiming down sights on the opening shot of an attack. This bonus is preserved if the shot deals precision damage or strikes an elemental shield in polymer grip. So there is going to be a catalyst for this, which I... I mean, I think it's already in the game. I just don't have it yet. Also, that new ornament in the past looks super freaking fly. Anyway, so uh, the setup that I am going to be using with this, and here, let me hurry up and put this on. Probably should have been prepared, but that's okay. We will be using the Lucky Pants. Oh my gosh! So if you guys are hunters, I would highly recommend using this setup. And I think it's going to be fun. I think we're going to have a good time with this. You could probably see what I'm getting at. So if you guys don't already know, Precision Hits, reload a uh, load of round to the stowed hand cannon. I've got hand cannon dexterity on this, which is amazing when you combine that with this flippin' perk, um, hand cans ready faster are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. You could probably see where we're going with this. I really like the setup that we got going here. This with hand can dexterity, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty fine. So, we got the Ariana's Vow here, and since I didn't have, you know, at least I don't have a hand can with quick draw on me currently, are those a thing? I'm sure they're out there. I'm gonna be using my trusty Awestringer. Absolutely love this gun. So what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be headshotting them with the Ariana's Vow, then quickly swapping to the Ostringer to clean them up, and not only that, we will have the bonus accuracy from the initial shot, so, uh, from immediately after swapping. So I think that's going to be really fun, I can't wait to get into this, any hunters out there would highly recommend doing this strat, and uh, I think it's going to be a good time. As you can tell, I got my really ugly look looking uh, hunter here. Not so much in sexy town anymore, but that's okay. Once we get to that max light level, I'll make sure to make them look real good. All right, enough of me. Let's get right into the crucible. All right, so we're going to be doing some clash. I absolutely love what they did with the, uh, as you just saw there, they kind of like split up, segmented, segmented the, uh, the playlist. So if I wanted to just do showdown or just do control or clash, I can. So that's super flipping cool. So I'm going into a clash match, and um, hopefully this will go well. I'm gonna like mute my mic here. I don't know if people in game check can hear me. So anyway, um, so I think that's super cool that you can choose what gameplay you want to go in there, what playlist you want to go into. So I just thought I would say that too. I've been a huge fan of a lot of the changes Bungie have brought, and I'm just really looking forward to the rest of the season. Oh snap! Is this a is this a new map? I hope this is a new map. Fragment. And my hands are really sweaty. Yo! That looks sick! 
Alright, if I have not played on this before, um, I'm gonna have to learn this map quick. <laughs> it's my ugly hunter, let's go! I'm hyped for this. Wiping off my hands. Gotta prep up. I'm ready. Alright, so one thing I probably should have mentioned before, oh my gosh, this looks awesome, is that, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Alright, I am at a handicap. I've never been on this map. Uh... One thing I probably should have mentioned before is that this hand cannon does have max range and max impact. So this thing hits like a truck. Absolutely hits like a truck. And I didn't even... Not paying attention there. And the range on it is insane as well. And my audio is indeed on. Sorry, just have to make sure. <laughs> so, um... I'm really looking forward to using the setup here. It should, uh, should work pretty well. At least... In theory, it should work pretty well. Um, then again, that all it works. We're going in, sort of going in. So this is okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. When using this hand cannon, it's very similar to a sniper, right? So you really have to change your playstyle around it. I notice a lot of times when I'm using it, I almost tend to play like I'm using a sniper. It's really weird. So you kind of have to change, and I really like the look of this map. You kind of have to change the, um, <laughs> finicky worm, what? You kind of have to change the playstyle. So it takes some adapting. There is a skill gap there because, you know, you got to land your shots, which is something that I'm struggling to do right now. But once you get used to that, it, it, it'll put in work for you. And also just look at freaking, uh, whatever that's called. The Hank, ha what, what are those? Lucky Pants. I was blanking for a second there. Lucky P Pants. Really coming in clutch. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> we got him! <laughs> alright. So things are going alright. We, we got the lead by a little bit here. I, I do think this map here complements it pretty well. I actually really like the way this map looks right now. It's like a Vex theme map. I'm always into those kind of maps. You know, Burning Shrine, all the OG stuff. Anyway. Alright, yeah. I think this map complements it pretty well. Oh, I missed. So, you actually will not have the bonus damage right there. You see, notice how it did 124 to the head? It only does that bonus damage if it's on the opening of shots. So, if you miss it, you shouldn't spam this weapon. You really should not spam the gun. You should either pace yourself before firing your next shot, or you should just switch to another weapon because it will not be worth. It will not be worth the payoff if if it's not doing that bonus damage. So I just thought I would let you all know that. And whoo, gun is not very effective when you get pushed like that, but that is okay. I'm sure you guys can see um, <laughs> the setup in theory here, though. <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Alright, so let's see if someone else can peek. Alright, I'm still hitting. Alright, there it is. Alright, someone cleaned him up for me. It's alright. It's working, though. You, you kind of see you kind of see how this setup is, is turning out. And then again, like, I barely use this hand cannon. I play with it a little bit before recording just to get kind of used to it get used to the feel of it but I'm sure like if you really practice this setup I got going here I could definitely some people I could definitely see some people slaying with this setup without a doubt honestly without a doubt alright so let's see alright so we're barely leading I'm not doing too well myself but that's okay I really shouldn't do it uh, stupid pushes honestly you're best playing passive with it you'd be kind of crazy if you were being super Super aggressive with it. I mean, you could be aggressive. You're feeling cocky, but oh, it's like right there. I don't know how that didn't land. So right now, I gotta pace myself, heal up a little bit. Right there, 64 to the head, and oh, he pushed over the rock, and there was like three dudes there. Not very high chances of my survival, but that is okay. I definitely really like this setup, though, and I, 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 I wouldn't say that this gun is everyone's cup of tea, but it definitely has a place, without a doubt. I have heard it's pretty good in PvE, so I may have to give it a try in there as well. But in the Crucible, it's, uh, it's situational. Now, since I am a hunter, I cannot one-tap with it. I do know if you're using, I believe, Weapons of Light or a Rift, an Empowering Rift on a Warlock, you are capable of one-tapping. It does 197 to the head, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Oh my, that was clean! That was clean, I like that. 
Oh no, the team shots. But that was pretty clean. I kind of like what we, what we got going there. <clears throat> really close game we got here, though. Gotta be careful. You'd think there wouldn't be enough in the magazine, but no, if you use it conservatively, if you use the gun the way you're supposed to, it's uh, definitely pretty good. Not, not, the ammo isn't as much a problem as you may think. Except when you waste shots like that. Yo! Oh man. Oh, I still got him with smokes though. He was at like half health. How did the smoke kill him? I don't know. Maybe someone else helped me. Maybe I just underestimate smokes. Might be that too. Oh, they traded. But give me that special. Heck yeah. All right, I'm uh, I'm uh, gonna use it here. Unless I get team shot. Oh freak! I didn't know he. Oh, okay, this is really awkward. It's okay. Oh, that's not good. What was that? Sh Please tell me you guys saw that shortstop. Please tell me you guys saw that shortstop. All right, that was a pretty stupid pop. I'm not gonna lie. That was not the smartest spot to use that in. Not the smartest spot, but that's okay. We will come back from that defeat. That is a freaking rocket. Let's not. Oh my! Who do I? Who do I aim at? I don't know who to aim at. I'm scared, man. That killed me. Wow. Thermite grenade is ridiculous now, man. All right. Not doing the greatest here. Let's see if we can pull our big boy pants up and get our show on the road here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> There's not much. Look at that sweaty name. Celio. Yeah. Sweaty, man. You know, if it's five characters or less, man, they're a sweat. It's okay. No hard feelings. <laughs> you notice I'm using it like it's a sniper. I'm trying to, like, take flick shots with it and stuff. Nah, it's pretty cool, though. And I am being pushed from, like, four different directions. This is rough, man. If you're being pushed by a shotgun, it just ain't gonna work out. Just does not. <laughs> As you have noticed on multiple occasions this uh, this recording. Oh! <laughs> All right then, I'll take it. That's a very strange sound I just made. I really don't like being shot from like four sides. I feel very exposed when I'm kill him. Yeah, thanks for the assist, bro. I feel so exposed. When I'm using this gun and I'm being shot from like four sides, but no, it's actually so nice. This is like I could definitely see like if you have a full team of these and you're all team shotting, it'd be insane. Got him! Woo! All right, nice. Yo, no! Somebody clean him up. Give me the assist. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we're not leading here. We only got like a minute fifty-eight left, but that's okay. Oh, what? I don't know how that didn't land. What? I saw two numbers. I guess that was from when I fired twice. That's a rocket. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks, bro. Madness. All right. Let's see if we can get another few clean kills here. I'm sure you guys get the point. I mean, I'm not the greatest PvP player, but y you all get you all get the idea, right? I definitely think it's a pretty potent setup if um if you get used to Thank you for the assist. I mean, for the support. I, it's definitely, I think, it's a pretty potent setup if you get used to using this gun. Um, not when you get reckless like that, <laughs> like me, but that's okay. <clears throat> no, but I think it's definitely, it's a nice change of pace. I've really been enjoying it. I would also like to say the ornament is really freaking fly. Really good looking, man. The ornament is really nice. Um, oh, my clean as fudge. Oh, behind us. Oh my gosh. Bro, our teammates got our back. Oh, push, push. Please push. Please push. No, he's killing them all. Please. I want a cool kill. Oh, I thought I got that one. That's okay. So yeah, you definitely got to pace your shots. Or else it's not really worth using if you're just spamming it. Because not only... Because if you spam it, not only are you wasting ammo... You are also, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, oh man, wow, there's like four of them there. Not only are you wasting ammo, you are also not doing as much damage, so it's just not use, it's not worth doing, you know, using it then, if you're just going to spam your shots, 
after you miss the first one. Because you might as well just be using a normal hand can. So I will say, it is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, and I would have killed that guy if you didn't push me, Mr. Sweat Name. <laughs> it's okay, no hard feelings. I definitely would have gotten though. I love, look at that. They ready so fast. Oh, I love it, man. It's so fun. I'm having such a good time with this. Evans, where's like the, is the music here different? All right. Okay. So, yes, I will admit I am not used to this setup yet. I'm going to use that as my excuse for going negative, but world's greatest gameplay right there. You just got, you guys just experienced it. Absolutely no sarcasm whatsoever. But no, in all honesty, I think you guys get the idea. I definitely really like the idea of using Lucky Pants, and I think they have different hand cannon, and it's just a, it's a lot of fun to use. It's a lot of fun to use. The ornament's sick looking, and I do think it's gonna have its place in this meta. Sort of, will it be a meta weapon? I don't know, but I'm sure there will be setups in the future that will just slay, that people will learn to just slay with. Like, I personally, I think the setup I have going here with uh, Lucky Pants, I think it's got a lot of potential. I really do think it's got a lot of potential, and I do think it will have a lot of people draw more towards the Ariana's Vow. Now, me, I haven't played too often with this gun, so I'm not the best with it, as you can see. But um, for someone who is a monster with hand cans and really is a monster, which with you know switching in between weapons and really landing those precision shots, I could definitely see some really good players putting in a lot of work with this setup. So let's see if you, if you really have to change your playstyle. I, 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 you can't be aggressive. I mean, you can try, but nine times out of ten, it ain't gonna end up well. You saw every time I got pushed by a shotgun, it just did not end up well whatsoever. I might actually uh, use this gun more in the future. Also, I would just like to notice, you can see right here, those of you guys that play back in D1, that's the same symbol that I'm pretty sure was on the Invective. So I think that's super cool. I just thought I would point that out. <laughs> you guys remember the Invective. But no, anyway. Yeah, so you just got to pace your shots because only the opening shot has that extra damage. And if, it's not like just the first round. So if you waited, it can two tap, yeah. But it's just, the recoil is so ridiculous on it and it just does not do enough damage if you were to spam it. Not only that, you're wasting special ammo. So... I think if you miss the first shot or if you hit the body, you're better off just switching to another gun. Or if you can survive and you think you can, go behind cover, just pace your shot, wait a second or two, and then fire in for the second for the bonus damage again. So I think that's really the way that you should be using this. And once you get used to this, I think there are some people that are going to be an absolute monster with this gun. So no, I think it's a super cool gun. I really like them adding this, adding it into the game with uh, Lucky Pants. It combines real well if you have another hand cannon. Um, dual hand cannon setup, man. I'm really, I'm really enjoying that. I could definitely get behind that. I'm having a really good time with this hand cannon here. I gotta try it out in PvE. But yeah, so there you guys have it, the Ariana's Vow. So, um, give it a try for yourself, man. I'd highly recommend it. Maybe if you're a hunter, put on some lucky pants. You know, dust those off a little bit if you haven't used them for a while, and I think you'll have a good time. So, uh, hope you guys have an amazing day. Remember to stay as positive as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.